So here's my leak down tester from 650motorcycles.com uh, that I built. I'm not sure if it's working right though because I got to set on 100 psi right now, and whenever you leak, it only drops down to 80, which I would figure drop down more than that. So I'm kind of wondering if whenever I'm leaking 5 psi, if I'm actually leaking 5% or 25%, because it's only dropping a fifth of the way down to zero. So, so here's my motor. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video or not. I'll try to get some light. There is a good bit of oil leaking right there between the turbo and the wastegate around cylinder number four there. A little bit of oil on cylinder three. Not too much on one and two. Okay, so here's cylinder number four. Uh, on the gauge here, can't kind of really see it very well in the video, but it looks like it's leaking off about three, three pounds of air off of 100. So not too bad. Got a little, a little bit of air coming through the past the rings and pressurizing the block, but not too bad. There's a little bit coming out of the breather down here, my catch can, but still enough to pressure up the block, so I don't know if that's a problem or not. Okay, so here's cylinder three. You can't hear it probably, but there's air leaking out around the uh, oil cap right now. Well, there you can play here. And it's showing, oh, about a nine on the gauge here. Nine pounds leaking off, and there's substantially more air coming out around the uh, rings. It's making the oil cap jump there. So this is where I thought the problem was at with cylinder number three, and it kind of looks like there's a bigger issue here than there was on the other cylinders. Here's cylinder number two. On the gauge, I'm leaking about four to five pounds. And again, a little bit of air come out the valve over here. And so this one's not too bad. Here's cylinder number one, leaking about five pounds. A little bit of air coming out. 